Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawan Mehta and today we will understand how to predict for new data using the random forest algorithm in RapidFinder. So random forest or random decision forest is an ensemble learning method for classification regression and other tasks that operates by constructing a multitude of decision tree at training time. Random forest is a supervised machine learning algorithm that is used widely in classification and regression problems. It builds decision trees on different samples and takes their majority word for classification and average in case of regression. Now let us, just under, let us understand this concept on next, next slide. When you will be running the decision tree, it is possible that uh, you may get different results for different decision tree. So it was not possible for us to come on the common consensus and therefore the concept of random forest algorithm was floated out. Now here, we are running the single, single decision tree either 500 times or 1000 times. So the collection of more than 500 or 1000 trees is collectively known as random forest. Now it is also possible here that each decision tree will give you a different result. So to come on the common consensus, say for example, decision tree is giving you result 1, result 2, result n. So to come on the common consensus, I am using either majority voting or averaging. Now, how we will do this or how, how we will predict for a new data set? Let us see. So first of all, we will go in rapid minor. I will remove this. We will start. I will activate the hard one data set. I will connect the spline here. I will press this play button. You can see here age gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, yes or no, old peak, ST slope, and the heart disease are the attributes which are considered. The target variable is a heart disease. And as it is in yes and no, it is a classification problem which we have to deal. Now, I will activate the operator which is select attribute operator. I'll drop it here. Now in the original data set, there may be many variables, but I only want to select those attributes from which I want to make the model. So subset it, and I'll select the attributes from here. Age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pig, and resting blood pressure. I'll transfer it here and apply. Now, I'll activate the operator, which is set the role of it. Random forest comes under the category of supervised learning technique. Supervised learning technique, we have to specify our target variable or also known as dependent variable. So here, I'll specify attribute name as heart disease, the last column, if you recall, make sure that the target rule is specified as labeled. Now, I'll activate the cross validation from here. I'll drag it and drop it here. Disconnect this line. Now, when any operator is having two layers, it means that it is having a sub process. Double click on it. Now, your screen will get split into training and testing data set. Activate the random forest algorithm from here. Drag it. Now, connect training with training, model with model, example with true. Also activate apply model from here. Drag it and drop it. Connect model with model and testing with unlabeled. Now I want to evaluate the performance of this. So performance. Activate the performance which is related to the classification because it is a classification problem. I'll connect label with label. Performance with performance an example with the text. I'll request all of you that kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this series. Press the up arrow. Now I'll be importing the completely new data set here, hard one. 
Now this data set, rather model has never seen this data set. This is completely new data set, which we are feeding it to the model. We'll carry out all the pre-process element. So I'll select this, copy, control V, and I'll be able to run this process pre-processes. Now I will activate, apply the model from here, apply the model. I'll connect model with model. Example with unlabeled, label with result, model with result. I'll just press the play button and the results are ready. Now you have to directly go in the example set. 10 new cases were given to the algorithm. This is a testing data set. Now you can see here where our classification was correct and or where we misclassified. Now if we talk about first case, person was having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted yes. So here in case of second, yes, yes, these are all correctly classified cases and therefore our algorithm ran correctly in prediction. So this is a way you can predict for new data set in RapidMiner. For more videos on RapidMiner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of RapidMiner. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.